I don't know if I can get animated when the coffee is this good. Morning, Peggy Mean Burian, Carry, coffee every single damn time. So I met Petty Betty yesterday. You probably met her. Um, she's a really annoying type of fay that you'd like to throat punch in the middle of conversations. Anybody is not the fairy that comes and leaves you a quarter for your tooth, which you were gonna lose anyway. She's just fucking obnoxious. Do not let this fairy into your life. Don't do it. Because now I have to stand here and I have talked to all of y'all about temperatures in the Christian afterlife. I'm not even Christian and this bothers me. So I very innocently trying to make conversation about the weather, because that's what you do with strangers, told Petty Betty that it was cold as hell. And she informed me that the expression was not cold as hell, as in the place where the devil lives. The expression is cold as hell, as in the rocks of ice that fall from the sky. First of all, this is the South, and you are lucky that you can tell the difference between me saying hell and hell. Thank you. Second of all, I'm not even going to bother to Google the entomology of this because you're fucking wrong. I even have a third of all, which is that the point of language is communication. So let's not be pedantic, Petty Betty, because if you know what I was trying to say, then my point got across, all right? Language, especially English, changes over time. It's a Creole developed from several other languages and it changes from region to region. I cannot tell you how annoying it is when I watch a movie based in Scotland and there are fucking subtitles like I don't speak English. Shut your face, Patty Betty. I'm so annoyed about this. I'm about to put down my coffee and get some books. You see this, this Christian book? It's one of the many I own. It's the Bible. Uh, this should be your book if you're arguing about hell. In this book, angels got fiery swords. God is appearing as a burning bush. At some point, sulfur and fire is raining from the sky. See this book? It's the book of Enoch. This was Dante's Inferno before Dante was alive. Enoch goes to heaven much like Mr. Virgil, and it is full of fire. Speaking of Dante, maybe you've read this one. At the end of this book, if you've gotten past Canto 19, because I know you all stop at 15 or 19, because that's where you think it's going to stop being interesting, it gets better. Satan is frozen in the center of hell in a pool of frozen shit. I said frozen twice because I wanted to make sure you heard it. God, for thousands of years, has been associated with light. In ancient Greek temples to Helios, who, by the way, is the god of the sun, the big fiery ball in the sky, they did not even bother to repaint them when they turned these temples Christian in a lot of cases because they just pointed to Helios and they were like, that's God. Just word up to y'all. That's why God is often seen as a blonde man with a beard. Uh, it has not a lot to do with anglicizing and more a lot to do with the appropriation of the Titans. Thank you. The Norse, Odin, God of lightning, very different than hell both the god and the place. I don't even remember what she's the god of, but I know it wasn't fire. I don't understand. Help me to understand why people feel the need to be this pedantic and argue about the entomology of colloquialisms. I just don't get it because the history is not behind them. I am sorry. But God has always, you know what? I am not sorry. God has always been associated with fire and light. And if you believe in the devil, 
He has always been associated with ice. Why would I say that it is cold as hail, H-A-I-L, and not cold as hell? Yes, there very well might be hail in hell because it is a cold place, climatically speaking. I think I just made up that word. I'm so angry. And you know what? doesn't matter because language is about communication. Why would I talk about one weather pattern when I can talk about the entire realm? I feel like Lake of Frozen Shit comes over much more strongly than precipitation. Maybe that's just me, but I doubt it. Can't stop laughing at myself. Ah, uh, have a good day. <laughs> Keep saying cold as hell. Do it. Do it just to draw Petty Betty out of her cave so that we can humiliate her some more. <laughs> they have done enough to us. It's time we return the favor. But not to me. Be nice to me. <laughs> have a good day.